the Tomo card. Something that I've seen advertising all over Snapchat and TikTok recently. This is a card where they promise you a credit limit of up to $10,000 without even giving them your SSN. So this video, we will be breaking it down and seeing if the Tomo card is worth it in 2022 and what are the pros and cons. So keep watching this video and we will get into everything you need to know about this card. So every time I'm scrolling on TikTok or Snapchat, basically I see an advertisement of this Tomo card and it's one of those advertisements where you can't really scroll past it. So you keep watching and they actually promise you a lot of things that normal credit card companies would not offer you such as a ten thousand dollar credit limit without even giving them your ssn and that like ssn they need that to verify you so that's actually a very bold claim for a credit card company now i actually did make a sponsored video on them back in like 29 back in 2021 when I started this channel and that video was a, a bit biased but this video will be a completely unbiased video on them. I will be looking at this company from a year almost two years later from when I did make that sponsored video so nothing in this video will be biased or sponsored so it'll be my pure thoughts on everything you need to know about this card. All right, so straight on the website we see the credit card of tomorrow and then underneath we see their bold claims of $10,000 spending power, no credit history required, and $0 fees and 0% APR. So APR is basically how much you are gonna pay if you miss a payment or have a late payment, which basically those two go hand in hand. So all you have to do, enter your email, press apply now, and we'll be going through that later. So with that, they also give some benefits because I don't see why, you know, they would just cap it at no benefits. So we have Lyft, $60 value. You basically can take three rides and you earn $5 credit with Lyft. DoorDash, $90 value, which is you get free three months of Dash Pass, Dash Pass, which is actually very beneficial because you know they be charging so many fees just to order some food. And then next one, Hello Fresh, Hello Fresh, $90 value, and then Shop Runner, $79 value, which I haven't really heard of those two, but it's actually great to have some benefits on a credit card. So as you scroll down, it says they approach credit differently. So the credit system, it is outdated, it is broken. Um, which, that's what they say, but do I really think that? Not really, I think you shouldn't get a credit card if you can't really pay that off. Only use your credit card for things that you have the money for, and if you don't, you're gonna have some credit card debt, and then your credit score is gonna go from here all the way down to here. So, use credit responsibly, um, you know, other than that. So, they also promise no credit score that you guys can get this card. So, I don't see, you know, really how they can, but we'll be going through that later. Underneath that, build your credit the smart way, never miss a payment. And they also report to all three major credit bureaus right there. So apparently um, they do that, which will actually be great because, you know, FICO have all three. That's also great. So underneath that, rewards that matter. We already went through those. And then feel like a VIP. There's actually more perks such as Fandango. And then there's also actually better perks which include thousand dollar cell phone protection for stolen or damaged phones which is actually great because cell phones be costing a lot of money these days so thousand dollars for protection that's awesome um you have mastercard id theft which available 24 7 which is great for any credit card companies or liability which is a need for these and also a global emergency which is emergency assistance anytime in any language which that's a that's pretty bold and then they have thirty thousand people already on tomo um, using their Tomo card, credit card, and then you have all the reviews, whether these are real, whether these are fake, don't really know, and then where they've been featured at. Um, and then, if you're looking for a credit card, doesn't require credit history, any of that, apply for this card. So now, we're gonna be going over why I actually did not have this card, and you know why I think it's pretty bad. So this is an unbiased review of this Tomo card, and I actually did apply to get this card a few weeks back because I needed another credit card, and I was actually amazed by the $10,000 credit limit that they offer. So the first thing, when you create an account, they require you to link your bank account and they actually check how much money is in your account and you have to have above $1,000 in your account to even be approved for this card. So with the inflation percentages, and I know a lot of you don't actually carry cash in your bank account or too much, you either have that invested or in other you know, assets. So they require $1,000 in your bank account at, at all times to even be accepted for this card and actually have a credit limit at all so the credit limit actually determines is determined by how much money you have in your account so if you have above a thousand dollars you're gonna get started at like the hundreds uh, like a hundred dollar credit limit so if you have anywhere from like ten thousand dollars cash in your bank account that is when your credit limit is actually going up and up and up 
And I believe you have to have anywhere from like above $20,000 cash to even be approved for that $10,000 credit limit on this card. And also, another thing that I hate about this card is the monthly payments. There is none of those. These are weekly auto pay payments that they take directly from your bank account after you spend money on something. Let's just say you go to a grocery store, you buy $300 worth of groceries. Like a few days later, they will automatically take money from your bank account. You don't pay, they automatically take the money from your account to pay for this. So that's why there's no late payments, there's no missed payments or any of that 0% 0, 0 APR because they really can't because they just automatically take the money from your bank account like a subscription would like Planet Fitness or something like that. I just thought that was extremely weird how they automatically take from your bank account. I also checked the login and the login interface is actually really weird from that. Basically payments, you, you're not really making them because they automatically take them from your account and auto pay is, the auto pay weekly is just such a weird feature. Like I feel like you should be paying when you want to instead of when they decide that you are going to pay. And I'd rather have like a 24% APR and never miss a payment than have a 0% where they automatically take from your bank account, which is just really just a stupid feature. And I feel like it's really misleading on their advertisements when they say a $10,000 credit limit and all this, but they fail to mention the key points where they take from your bank account and they actually make weekly payments because let's just say you don't get paid um, until two Fridays the future and they will auto automatically take money from your bank account so then you have nothing to use for the rest of the the couple weeks or the month until you actually get paid again so for that card the advertising i believe is very misleading the card is not even that good the benefits like who they really have benefits where people don't really even use these services just to say that they're a benefit and i just think Overall, this card is not worth it at all. The benefits do not outweigh the risks of this card. It's a, it's a fairly new company. They've only been there for a year or so. There's not too many users. Testimonials, they don't really seem real at all. So I think the cons outweigh the pros for this, and that's why I do not have a card, and I wouldn't really recommend the, Com the Tomo card for you guys. That is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do give a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. Comment down below what you guys do think of the Tomo card, whether you have one or are deciding to get one, or if you are not deciding to get one after watching this video, tell me why in the comments below. Before you guys go, make sure you guys do sign up on the Robinhood link down below so you guys can start your investing journey and get a two free stocks for signing up. Also, if you want a good credit card that actually offers up to 5% cash back on every single purchase and a $200 sign up bonus, click that Capital One link in the description and sign up for there. Or if you do want a free, or if you do want a good $15 per month phone plan, click that Mint Mobile link in the description down below so you guys save big on your monthly phone plan. My name is Matt and I will see you guys in the next video.